Hello everyone, welcome once again. SpaceX conducted a cryogenic proof test on Starship S-26, which I think looks to be an orbital propellant depot or a tanker Starship, because it has no flaps and no heat shield tiles, so it is not made to return to Earth. With the successful completion of the Artemis 1 mission last year, Artemis 2 is expected to launch next year. After that, NASA will need SpaceX to prepare a starship capable of landing on the moon for its Artemis 3 mission. For this, SpaceX has to perform a handful of starship test flight missions to prove its flight worthiness. For a starship to land on the Moon or Mars, it will need a huge amount of propellant to reach its destination. For this, orbital refilling is a crucial step. There are many videos on the internet explaining how orbital refilling will be done, but let me explain it in a simple way. Before the actual HSL Starship or Mars-bound Starship is launched, a Starship looking similar to S-26 will be launched first which will serve as an orbital propellant depot. Second, after the depot Starship is in a stable orbit, a series of up to eight tankers will be launched spreading over a few months and each of which would dock with the depot and gradually fill its tanks. Third, once the depot ship is topped off, the actual Starship moon lander would launch, dock with the depot, and be fully fueled. Finally, the fueled lander would fire up its Raptor engines and head towards its destination. For humans to become a multi-planet species, orbital refilling is the key. I hope you have a brief idea about orbital refilling. So, in the near future, we may see a lot of starships similar to S-26. Crews continue preparing both the booster and the orbital launch mount for the upcoming orbital test flight. The major works we see on the orbital launch mount are the installation of new shieldings on the outer ring and the installation of HPU on the booster. If we were to see an orbital launch attempt next month, Starship S-24 has to arrive at the launch site before the end of this month. Otherwise, we can expect a delay. But I am still hopeful for the launch next month. At the Space Mobility Conference yesterday, a senior advisor at SpaceX said, both the booster and pad were in good shape after the static fire earlier this month. He added that the FAA launch license will be granted very soon and people can expect some must-see TV action sometime in March. Have you seen this building before? Does it look familiar to you? SpaceX has been constructing this facility under the radar. Reports suggest that this SpaceX facility in Bastrop, Texas will be used to manufacture Starlink terminals and their related components. But I think it will be more than that, HLS design and other R&D works could also be done here. The building is so huge. We had seen a building with similar design from SpaceX's official render video released a long time ago which SpaceX named, Factory of the Future. NASA's SpaceX Crew-6 crews have arrived at the Kennedy Space Center ahead of their launch on early Monday morning. The four crew members will ride to space atop a Falcon 9 rocket from Pad 39A on Monday for a six-month-long scientific mission on the International Space Station. Earlier, the mission was scheduled for liftoff on Sunday morning but it has been delayed for a day. If you want to watch the event live, you are always welcome here. That is it for now. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.